Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. During His Majesty the King's reception of the Speaker of the Representatives Council and the Chairman of the Shura Council and his receipt of the annual report of the Shura and Representatives Councils for the fourth session of the fifth legislative term, His Majesty praised the sincere and successful efforts of the members of the Legislative Authority and the important achievements made to strengthen the democratic approach. During His Majesty the King's reception of the Speaker of the Representatives Council and the Chairman of the Shura Council, His Majesty expressed pride in the active role of the Legislative Authority in supporting the March of Development and defending the higher interests of the nation. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain has a long history and a developed present in all fields and has made many remarkable achievements. His Majesty also praised the achievements and constructive ideas included in the reports of the Shura and Representatives Councils for the development of legislative and oversight performance and the level of advanced cooperation and coordination between the two authorities and their constructive work. His Majesty the King also spoke about the upcoming parliamentary and municipal elections, looking forward to a sixth legislative term in which further gains that serve the development process and boost the national economy will continue to be achieved. The annual report reviewed statistics and data on the performance and achievements of the two councils in addition to the procedures for starting the session. The report also included the two councils' discussions of decrees by law, draft laws, state general budgets and its final account, as well as visits by official and parliamentary delegations and political statements issued by the councils during the fourth session in interaction with local, regional and international events and occasions. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Right Honourable Elizabeth Truss MP on the occasion of her election as leader of the governing, uh, governing Consultative and Unionist Party of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. His uh, Royal Highness expressed his sincere congratulations on the occasion of Truss's election and wished her success in continuing to achieve progress and development for the UK and its people when she is appointed as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. His Royal Highness commended the strategic partnership between Bahrain and the UK across various fields. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized the 18th edition of the ceremony to honor outstanding students, which was organized by the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, where 736 students were honored. His Highness praised the great interest of His Majesty the King, the honorary president of the RHF, in educating Bahrainis in order to enhance their academic level and provide all requirements for their progress in quality education. His Highness congratulated His Majesty the King for the success achieved by the students, which reflects His Majesty's keenness to ensure the distinction and success of Bahraini orphans, wishing His Majesty lasting good health and happiness. He also praised the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in supporting the RHF towards achieving its humanitarian goals. His Highness also congratulated the students and their parents and hailed the cooperation of the Education Ministry, the University of Bahrain and all educational institutions with RHF that contributed to students' achievements and provide the perfect educational environment for them. The Secretary General of the RHF, Dr. Mustafa Sayed, then honored all the students. The Royal Humanitarian Foundation held the 18th edition of Honoring Outstanding Students, which aims to enhance students' academic level and provide all the requirements for their progress and quality of education. The RHF has always been keen to provide distinguished educational care that enables the students to pursue their educational careers successfully. We have got a kind king who looks after his people and one of the most important group are the orphans and the widows and they get the best treatment. You saw today the joy in the eyes of the students. Our students who have scored the best in all the schools, both in the private and government, with the scores of 100% plus 90 and IBs 4 out of 4, amazing results. 
it's so lovely to see over 700 of our students are taking the front positions in all grades in the schools. More than 700 students were honored during the ceremony, and these students received the care and full support of the honorary president of the RHF, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. I am so glad to be here in this wonderful ceremony uh, which is organized by RHF. I would like to thank His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His uh, Royal Highness uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and uh, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. I would like to thank them because they are supporting us and motivating us to complete our school journey with uh, successful and excellent. I'd like to thank the Royal Humanitarian Foundation for their constant support. Uh, we really appreciate them for all the amazing work that they do, and uh, we hope to continue making them proud. Hard work yields great results, and the students proved themselves of being capable of making the highest achievements, which is only the start of their journey to creating a brighter future for the Kingdom of Bahrain. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received His Majesty the King's Advisor for Youth and Sports Affairs and President of Bahrain Pioneer Athletic Association, Saleh bin Isa bin Hindi al-Mannai. Where his, mad, where his Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the contribution of the pioneers to Bahraini sports. His Highness was briefed on the updates of the association, affirming that, that efforts of it, all members are sources of pride for their contribution to the achievements and gains made by Bahraini sports. El Manna'i reviewed Bahrain's hosting of the first science conference in October under the theme Arab Sports, Reality and Ambition. He expressed thanks to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his unlimited support to all initiatives launched by the association, adding that Bahrain has an attractive environment for hosting various sports events as a result of the interest and support of the leadership. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawzi Ibn Abdullah Zainal, and Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, met with the Interparliamentary Union IPU Secretary General Martin Changong and a number of senior officials on the Union's General Secretariat. Bahrain's bicameral parliament and the IPU have signed an agreement regarding organizing and holding the 146th IPU General Assembly and related meetings in March 2023 in Bahrain. Zainal said that Bahrain's hosting of the IPU 146th Assembly is a clear evidence of the international confidence that the kingdom enjoys and reflects its good standing in the international community. She emphasized the remarkable support from the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and its TD cooperation with the legislative branch. As Saleh said that the IPU's confidence in Bahrain and holding its General Assembly in Manama are a confirmation of Bahrain's remarkable progress and growth in parliamentary and legislative action. The assembly will be an opportunity for Bahrain to continue to be on the global stage. Uh, Bahrain will be the capital of the parliamentary community in, in the world. For several days here, all the roads from parliaments will lead to Bahrain. And uh, more importantly, the substance of the discussions here is one that would add value to our global uh, discussions. We know that uh, Bahrain is a symbol of peaceful coexistence, a symbol of tolerance between communities, and uh, it will be an opportunity for the global parliamentary community and other uh, stakeholders to come to Bahrain to see for themselves the progress that has been made in articulating these values. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of Djibouti, Mahmoud Ali Youssef, on the sidelines of the 148th session of the Council of the League of Arab States at the ministerial level in Cairo. During the meeting, the two ministers discussed the brotherly relations between the two countries and ways to promote joint cooperation to serve common interests. They also discussed areas of coordination in international forums in addition to the topics and issues on the agenda of the council meeting. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Cooperation in Mauritanian Abroad in Mauritania, Mohamed Salim Wild Marzouk, on the sidelines of the 158th session of the Council of the League of Arab States at the ministerial level in Cairo. During the meeting, the two ministers discussed the brotherly relations between the two countries and ways to promote joint cooperation to serve common interests, in addition to the topics and issues on the agenda of the council meeting. The fourth round of political consultations between Bahrain and Brazil was held. This session was co-chaired by Foreign Ministry Under Secretary for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Secretary of Bilateral Negotiations in the Middle East, Europe and Africa at the Brazilian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Kenneth Felix. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah hailed the growing relations between Bahrain and Brazil and affirmed the kingdom's keenness to further enhance bilateral cooperation and strategic partnerships. The two sides reviewed a number of memoranda of understanding signed between the two sides on several fields. For his part, the Secretary of Bilateral Negotiations in the Middle East, Europe and Africa hailed Bahrain's pioneering role in supporting peace and security in the Middle East. In reinforcement of the principles of occupational safety in one of the largest aluminum manufacturers in the world, Elba achieved 30 million safe working hours without any injuries in a historic and unique achievement in this field. This unprecedented achievement in the aluminum industry reflects the strong safety culture and values of Elba, which is one of the largest aluminum smelters in the world. Achieving this historic safety milestone while achieving the best ever financial performance in the company's history has been a major challenge for the executive management, employees and contractor workers to make safety a priority at all times. The Saudi cabinet held its weekly meeting chaired by the custodian of the two holy mosques at as salam Palace in Jeddah. The meeting reviewed the latest regional and international developments. It reiterated the kingdom's support of the security and stability in Iraq and protecting its capabilities, gains and its people. The cabinet referred to Saudi Arabia's confirmation during the area meeting that the development of cross-border terrorist threats requires a quick and comprehensive response from the international community as it targets civilians, vital and civilian facilities, energy supplies and the stability of the global economy. The Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi received the Algerian Foreign Minister Ramdan al-Amamra where he handed al-Sisi a written letter from the Algerian President Abdel Majid Tiboun. Al-Sisi praised the historic bilateral relations and the keenness of both countries to further enhance the bilateral cooperation. He expressed Egypt's aspiration to work with Algeria for the next Arab summit in order to enhance the joint Arab action and overcome all challenges.